Hello friends and welcome back. My name is Amadorn and we are playing Civilization VI Rise and Fall. We are Qin Shi Ha of the um, uh, Chinese Empire. And when we last left, we were at war with the Aztecs. Yes, they had attacked Brussels down here. And I didn't like that. Um, and I felt that they were kind of expanding a little bit more than I wanted them to. Uh, we are kind of on an island with just us and them and a few city-states. So let's get into this and see what we can do. Uh, we need to figure out some production. Um, ancient walls, shrine. I think I want to do a builder. still have our uh, encampment being uh, put together up there. Um, we have a library being produced there. And we are in the process of trying to attack this city over here. Way. units have not had a whole lot of luck. Nearly lost a spearman. Gonna use it lose this ship if I'm not careful about it. That barbarian camp over here. I don't know why he hasn't cleaned that out. He's got a city here, so he's got five cities. I think this was a city-state at one point. Um, we're probably going to keep it for ourselves if we can take it. We have Carthage and Brussels moving in to back us up. Definitely need to check my key bindings so that uh, I can shortcut these attacks with my arrows. I tend to use a lot of ranged attacks when I'm going after cities. It, it just it makes things so much easier. See if we can get that ship home to get it healed up so we don't lose it. An unmet player has finished building the World Wonder of the Great Lighthouse. We did get the Oracle built so that we have at least one wonder that we've built ourselves. Um, I tend not to focus too much on wonders. Um, while they're nice to have, they're really expensive. Although, having the pyramids would be kind of cool. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. It's 20 turns. They're right there on the coast. Probably a waste of time, but uh, we'll see. Peace! I don't want peace. I want your cities. No peace for you. <laughs> I'm guessing that he's probably hurting for cities. 
or for for not cities but um, troops. AI is kind of predictive in that way. Go ahead and continue to let him heal. <clears throat> All right, suggesting the Great Wall. Um, yeah, what the hell. Uh-oh. I, I have a feeling that ship's just not going to get back. Alright, so I think we are going to build a shrine. In the capital. Having all these city states on my side definitely helps for this war. And I'm kind of hoping that eventually I'll be able to absorb those city states just through loyalty. And take volley for him. So I think it's time to start moving my spearmen around. Great war. Plus four to my air score. Still got a village way over there. Hmm. I'm going to hold off on bombardment for a turn. I really need to see if... Looks like it might get liberated by my city-states. Um... Could levy their military. There we go. Do that. And then I just take it myself. Oh. Looks like Brussels military is also a problem. Just leave it at that. I'm gonna hold off on doing anything with those guys for a turn. Let's go ahead and continue to make some great wall here.
Sorry, I don't want peace. I want your cities. Destroyed that city. Hmm. Okay, that was unexpected. Let's head south. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that city to get destroyed. Um, I'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that. Um, actually, why don't we just go ahead and start working on a settler? Bit of a traffic jam down there. He has walls for defense. Yeah, with the walls that gives him ranged attacks. So we have to be a little bit more careful down here. Back off a bit. Get in there.
let's see if we can get down here and take this city um, instead of having it get destroyed. Heal a little bit. Onward, we have battles to fight. Hmm. All right, I would definitely want to put a city back there because you have spices here, silver. You've got a, you know, a natural wonder, copper, some hills, sheep. Two, three, yeah. So if I were to put the city here, I think that would be a pretty good spot right there. Let's go ahead and mark that. City. Whoops. city right there. We're gonna put one there. Alright, so they are targeting that catapult over there from Brussels. Fine by me. Tactics mean doing what you can with what you have. Okay. Moving in. So let's look at our science here. All right, so machinery. Machinery would be nice. Construction, shipbuilding. Construction would give us the Terracotta Army. Um, apprenticeship. We're not too far off from the Renaissance era. I see. I want to go ahead and clean these two up, though. So we're going to go construction and then probably shipbuilding. Uh, we're almost done with recorded history. Production. Oh, production in Beijing. Um, I want a worker up there. Um, so let's go ahead. Well, all right. 
So let's do a granary. And then we will do a um, do a wonder. Or not a wonder, but a, uh, a worker. Or a builder, as they are called in Civ 6. Attack. We are going to go ahead and throw that warrior at, uh, at the Aztec city. We just did something over there. Nope, nope, no peace. Hey, you started this by expanding towards me. So, it's time for you to go away. Did they really destroy another city? Okay, so I'm not happy with Brussels. They really need to stop destroying the cities I'm trying to take. Um... That's not how I wanted to do this. Hmm. Not sure what I can do to get them to stop destroying the cities so that I'm going after. the money to levy their army I would just do that and be done with it I've lived through some terrible things in my life some of which actually happened okay so recorded history is done my advisor is telling me I should do naval tradition or civil service. Uh, Alliance civil service retainers for cities with a garrison unit. At least by Location. Uh, let's go with civil service. 
I like the bonuses for men a little bit more. Hey, we got a governor title too. So we'll take care of that. Really got to get my stuff in ahead of all these Brussels units. Try to make sure that they don't destroy my next cities I'm trying to take. Wonder if I can get that spearman around. Might have to be a little bit more risky. So I didn't auto him all the way up there. I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way this war is going, other than the fact that one of my allied city-states is, like, destroying the cities I want to take over. Patron Saint Apostles and Warrior Monks trained to so receive one extra promotion. Hmm... About the diplomat. Motor of Blunts. While established in a city state, provides a copy of its luxury resource to you. Your other cities within nine titles gain two plus two loyalty per turn toward your civilization. Okay. Um, let's go with Affluence. I think he's had a hard time with barbarians. Pillage, pillage, pillage. All right. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and build another city fairly close. start building up some influence with these guys. Let's 
go ahead and build a temple. I don't know why you keep asking for peace, because I'm going to keep telling you no. I'm sorry, I'm, I've gone in full warmonger mode here, and I am taking out the Aztecs. That is the plan. Um, The moment Brussels kind of seems content not to get too much closer. Um, kind of okay with that. They're a little bit difficult to control. I could go to war with Brussels and take them out. That kind of defeats the purpose of this war in the first place, which was to protect Brussels. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I honestly, I do want to control those. I uh, force a states. I want them in my empire. Um, especially since I am on an island. I mean, at least I ran into the Aztecs, so I wasn't alone. But, um, having their military strengths be mine would be nice. if I can really do two sieges at the same time. forces to nope. all right yeah let's go ahead and put a city there and build a monument we're 131 turns in out of 500 
Um, next time I play, I will definitely remember to turn that off because I dislike the uh, um, the artificial uh, turn limit. So Brussels seems pretty content to stay around there, which is fine. Um, and she gives us the ability to take out the rest of the Aztec Empire without having to worry about uh, them sneaking in. Um, let's go ahead and put that back on Auto Explore. And it's fully healed up. Uh, we'll send this warrior over here to pick up this worker. And then we will throw this warrior at the city. And the swordsman at the city as well. Very close to falling. These guys in here. Oh, somebody else has built another wonder. Mon, uh, yeah, can't pronounce that at all. We are having some problems. Uh, we definitely need more housing. Have to get that taken care of here pretty soon. AD. I'm telling you, no, I'm not going to take your peace treaties. I'm going to take your cities. That's going to be our peace. Send in this warrior. We are losing loyalty in one of our cities. Tail is ours. All right, so we're going to keep that city. Uh, we are going to start building a monument there, and then we're going to head up there to the city. Softened up for an attack. Yeah, we're gonna fortify for a minute. <clears throat> home. Kill that swordsman. I've had to focus on this war quite a bit, so I haven't had much chance to really... I've been taking the time to really come back here and 
keep an eye on things. Our temple's going to be done. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually build another settler so I can kind of so I can get something in here. Um, and then if I actually get these pyramids built, then I build a couple of workers here, or a couple of builders here, and start cleaning up. I need to get some more science districts going. Let me get ahead in technology. Day -o, day -o, come and I want to go home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We gotta move that archer away before he dies, so we'll just kind of pop him back around this mountain here. The four building blocks of construction. The fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. Dave Barry. All right, so we're gonna move him away. Move this one up. We're going to move this spearmint up so this archer can get around over here. I usually like to have three archers, or at least three ranged units, attacking a city. This ship over here. Um, it just feels like it's a better thing. So we're going to send both of these workers, or builders, I keep, I've been playing this game for quite a while, and for some reason I still call them workers when they're builders. Just habit, from playing so much Civilization over the years, um, I doubt that I will ever break it. Uh, okay, so let's go back to our tech tree. Um... We haven't done shipbuilding yet. We're still going to want to do that. But uh, I think we're going to go with machinery so that we can upgrade our weapons a bit. Crouching Tiger. Unique medieval era unit. Ranged unit with a range of one and high combat strength. Interesting. Production. Okay, so... He suggested a pagoda. Um, doesn't look like I have any real places to build another. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just build a settler. One boy. Alright, so we've got Susan with all these guys. So let's just go ahead and start to look. Evening them up then. Putting a dark age could be a bit difficult. So I saw the Aztecs with a spearman and a settler here not too long ago. I'm not sure what they did with it. Let's do some pillaging. Ooh. 
He is still wanting peace, and he's going after my archers pretty hard. Um, From the height of these pyramids, I actually got the pyramids built. Down on us. Well, that's pretty cool. So, I guess, um, I think my plan was to build some markers. Uh, let's see here, though. Teo is starving, so... Yeah. Harbor. Petra. Um, builder. Alright, so this archer needs to step back and do some healing. Do some fighting with that one. Um, let's go ahead and throw these guys at the city. work him around. There be whales here, Captain. Yes, I'm a Star Trek fan. Trekkie for life. You know, actually with those builders coming in, I think I'm going to change my production here. Um, I've got the campus... I think I'm going to do a harbor. I think that would be the best way to go here. Oh, there's where it went to. sure how I feel about that right now. Alright, let me go ahead and build up our uh, encampment a little bit.
Alright, so I can't do much there. I want to build farms. I know it's trying to tell me I should build walls, but um, <clears throat> I want some farms. Civic boost. Feudalism. To build and become a free city, to gain control of it again, you must once again exert your loyalty there or use military force. Other rooms. East meets west. It's an honor to meet you. Exchange the information on our capital is a great idea. They are up there. That means they came down here by boat. Right. You have met a civilization. Hmm. Still going after the archers. use uh, some warriors to try to give them a little bit more tempting bait than my archers. Exercise zone of control. Looks like Aztecs are trying to uh, gain influence over that. Alright, so let's send him up here. I'll throw that warrior at this 
city. Okay, so we're going to fortify there. We don't own that, so let's see. Yeah, we can purchase it. Farm there. Lost a couple more units. No longer suzerain with Carthage. Alrighty, so I think that's about all the time we have for today. The war with the Aztecs is going okay. Um, not as well as I had hoped. Uh, I'd lost a couple of cities that I was trying to take because of Brussels. Um, the one city I did take has now rebelled against me. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of stuck. I need to get this city. I think I'll get it here in a few turns. Um, we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to have to, uh, um, definitely put some envoys back into Carthage. It's not Susan or anybody, but, uh, will be necessary. Um... We're definitely going to have some cleanup to do here pretty soon. Things just aren't going quite as well as I'd hoped. But uh, I think we're still going to do okay. So that's all the time I have for now. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.